Justin, now on the project, one of your hosts is off playing games tonight. As per usual, Mike, you're absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> yes, a Kiwi couple came up with a new card game. You get in your vehicle, you turn over a card and you do what it says. Turn right, head east, whatever. The inventors have three daughters and we had them play the game and take total control of Josh Thompson. Mm. We may never see him again. <laughs> Remember when going on an adventure was the best part of life? Now, technology is writing the script for us. Facebook tells you who to like, Spotify tells you what you like, and Google tells you where to go. But this North Shore family is helping us remember the joy of heading into the unknown and just getting lost. It's just randomness, it's exploring, it's getting out, it's spending time with friends and family and it's living life without a script or without anyone else's script. That's why they invented this game. Each pack has 25 misdirection cards. You just pull out a direction and you follow that direction and you just keep playing it until you get the head for home card. See where you end up. <laughs> To play, we just need someone willing to take risks. Oh, me? Uh, nah, I'm not much of a risk taker. Ah! Oh, OK, I see your point. All right, well, I do have one rule, though. I never read and drive. No thanks. So you'll have to read them to me. Are you ready, Josh? Uh, maybe. OK, so the first card is follow a blue car. There's one, there's one. There's one. Blue car. Blue car. Ah, All right. Take the next right. OK, you've done this before, right? We've ended up in a few interesting pubs. Uh, <laughs> awesome. We played it for Crystal's birthday. For her 11th birthday, had a car full, six girls in the car, um, and they got stopped for a drink just outside of Miranda. And the only place was a biker pub, so I just kind of thought, why not? OK. Now I'm lost. Try your hand at skimming stones. Now this is something I can do. Woo! I want my kids to have the life that I had growing up. I want them to be fearless and brave and explorers and, you know, and yep. make mistakes and learn from them. Yep. Still lost. Stop and take a picture. A tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did you come up with this terrifying game? When James and I got together, our lives just couldn't have been more different. I was sort of showing all these great Auckland restaurants and he was showing me all these great waterholes, shipwrecks. There's a shipwreck on the Miranda coast. I used to pretty much live down at the creek at the bottom of our road with the neighbourhood kids and I'd just kind of forgotten that that was what childhood should be about. Go for a roll down the hill. <laughs> If you want to know how to rig the game, put the cards in the order that you want them to go. Because there's no rules to this game. You're telling me now, I'm in Blenheim. Yes. And now it's time to head for home. Ah, it's beautiful. I love getting lost. Although I do need Google to get back to the studio. I've got no reception. How's yours? for our big Friday night project. Actually, joining us on, on the show tonight, please welcome Longi Tolafo as our fourth host. Hi. Um, Thank you very much for having me. What do you think? Would you give that game a go with your daughter? Um, yes, I would, but um, I'm just looking at it now. I mean, it's a game here in New Zealand over in Samoa. It's just called Living in a Village. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need directions. You just uh, If you learn, want to learn how to swim, just go out with my dad. He'll chuck you in the ocean and tell you, swim home. OK, great. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, it's been really popular and it's just that couple who made it up. If you want to uh, have a look, at, they've got a website, gettinglost.co.nz. Like it.